Hi everybody and welcome back to our quarter two 2024 real estate review. You, you, you tell me what they've been doing. How about I tell you what the rates have been doing? Tell me what they've been doing. So, as a review since the beginning of quarter two, they really haven't done a whole lot, honestly. Uh, looking at them week by week, the average on a 30-year conventional has gone from 6.91 all the way up to 7.29, and then all the way back down to 6.93 last week so or at the end of june i should say so um it, you can kind of it, it really didn't do a whole lot uh, so they're just hovering between, yeah between those three months it, it went up a little bit it and then it just came right back down a little bit not a big change then over the last three months no and if you look at it over a, over a loan amount of three hundred thousand, if you got it on the low or the high your difference is 78 dollars a month okay so nothing huge uh, yeah Nothing huge. Um, on the on the actual real estate side, uh, the the numbers have, have pretty much stayed the same there too. We're still increasing at about um, about a four point three percent clip year over year, uh, and they're up they're up significantly quarter over quarter. But you really can't take too much um, stock in that because those numbers, the quarter over quarter, quarter numbers, I would expect Q two to be up because Q one's a little bit slower. Um, that's, that includes January and February, which are usually slower months. And then you get into the hot months of April, May, and June. Those numbers always tend to be a little bit higher. So that really hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, but we are in a, in a weird kind of market, and you've probably noticed this too. Uh, the next slide that I have shows the actual closed sales um, for the second quarter. And what you'll notice is that we're only at about 8,800 closed transactions. If you look back over the last two years, actually, if I'm going to go back to 2021 and 2022, we had 11,306 closed transactions in Q2 of 2021. So we are down significantly in the number of closed transactions. And even in 2022, we had 11,062 closed transactions. So still, we're off, we're off pace by almost 3,000 3, yeah. Yeah, 3, transactions for the quarter. Um, and the new listings are also down significantly. So we have um, 11,057 new listings in Q2 of 2024. In Q2 of 2022, we had 14,152. So those are also down significantly. So the weird, yeah, the weird place we are in this market is um, it's still a seller's market because even though demand has been tamped down a little bit um, by the interest rates, sellers are also hesitant to list because they all refinance during the time when, when everything was low and they're, they're having trouble coming off those two and a half, three percent mortgage rates to buy a new house to get into a seven percent interest rate. Right. Um, so even though even though demand is down a little bit, so is inventory. So it's right. still a seller's market out there. Uh, so if you're still if you're thinking about selling or buying, actually both sides. It's still matched. It, it, yes, it's it's still it's not quite as hot as it's not nearly as hot as it was in 2022. Right. But buyers have more time now. Um, so, which means sellers have more time now. Uh, as long as your expectations are tempered um, and you're not expecting the fire sales that were happening, you know, the, the market was on fire in 2022. Yeah. Um, now it's not on fire. Now you've got some time to think about things and make the right move. So that's the good news. Yeah. Uh, uh, the bad news is that if you're waiting for the rates to come down to buy, by the time they even get close to where they're, you know, five and a half, six percent, we're still going to have climbing values because of the low inventory yeah wouldn't you agree yep yeah and people will be more apt that it's still going to stay matched your listings will go up your buyers will go up that's right yeah, yeah. And, and the reason for that is again i, I go back to the u.s um department uh, uh, i'm sorry the census bureau's statistics the household formation rate continues to climb and we're not building homes nearly fast enough to keep up with that so even, it doesn't matter what the interest rates do over time for the next 10, at least 10 years, we're going to continue to see this seller style market because there's just so much pent up demand out there uh, from buyers who want to buy, uh, but don't have enough inventory to make a good decision on. So right. um, as these interest rates stagnate or even decrease a little bit, and they're not terrible interest rates, really. No. Think about it. Um, 7% is about average. No. If you, can get, if you can get high sixes right now, I feel like everybody feels... Like that's a pretty good win right now. Yeah, pretty good win. 
Pretty good win. Um, the other the other slide I had was just the uh, percentage of, percentage of um, I had two more. The percentage of closed listings closed above list price. Uh, still twenty three and a half percent of my board closed sales are above list. So that's, that's not as good as it was. When, you know, it's not good. It's not as hot as it was when it was fifty or sixty percent. Um, but we're still getting an, an in certain pockets too. It's very very location dependent right now on whether you're getting above list. Uh, and the other slide was the cumulative days on the market. Uh, we're at nine overall, but if you that's the cumulative days on the market. But if you look at the average, it's 33 days. So this also tells you that it's very location centric mm -hmm. on on cumulative days and average days on the market. So it's a little bit of a weird market. It's closer to normal than we've ever been. The only thing that's not normal about it is the level of inventory. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Kind of a, a, a real return to normal. Yeah. Pretty much. I like it. It's a good pace. So if you have any questions about what the real estate market is doing right now, how we can help you get into a house, feel free to give us a call. Uh, numbers will be posted at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.